வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த ரெஸ்டிங் மெம்பரின் பொட்டன்சியல் இந்த செல் இஸ் அண்டர் ரெஸ்டிங் கண்டிஷன் பொட்டன்சியல் டிஃபரன்ஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அக்ராஸ் த செல் மெம்பரின் ஸோ மெம்பரின் பொட்டன்சியல் அட்ரெஸ்ட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் ரெஸ்டிங் மெம்பரின் பொட்டன்சியல் The resting motor membrane potential is different for the different tissue. Resting membrane potential for smooth muscle minus 50 millivolts. Resting membrane potential for the SC nodal cells it is minus 60 millivolts. Resting membrane potential for the nerve fiber minus 90 millivolt. Resting membrane potential for red blood cells it is minus 9 millivolts. especially in the pacemaker tissue like sc node and visceral smooth muscles it having the oscillating resting membrane potential it is not stable development of resting membrane potential potassium efflux uh, leaving of the potassium from the inside cell to the outside is the play the important role in the generating the resting membrane potential potassium permeability is more than sodium through the resting membrane and activity of the sodium potassium pump also play the important role in the development of the resting membrane potential the impermeability of the proteins more present inside the cell this is also create the negative resting membrane potential in this chart different ions molecular weight and radius size given here the potassium molecular weight is 30 ion sodium molecular weight is 23 compared to the sodium potassium molecular weight is more but the radius size of the potassium is 0.12 sodium radius size is 0.18 so this radius size also play the important role for the potassium efflux from the inside to the outside the cell and the protein radius is 7.5 the molecular weight is also very high so potassium is impermeable so the selective permeability of the cell membrane also play the important role in the resting membrane potential gibbs tone on equilibrium explain the generation of the resting membrane potential according to the gibbs tone on equilibrium if you take the container with the semi permeable membrane the x side and y side if you take only potassium chloride both side means the cations in the one side potassium is equal to the chloride like that cations potassium is equal to the chloride okay so the divisible cations potassium and divisible anion in the one side is equal to the divisible cation and divisible anion in the equal to the other side so in this formula the divisible cations a by divisible cations b divisible anions by divisible anions a. so both are equal suppose we are adding the impermeable ion on the one side the protein protein is added in the one side of the one side what happened the symmetrical the distribution of the permeable ion is asymmetric we can see in the other slide if we add the protein one side means the x side potassium chloride protein is more than potassium chloride in the y side okay so potassium is more in the x compared to the y due to the presence of the impermeable ions in the one side 
so this is example for the uh, intracellular part contain the protein that have in the more amount of the potassium that is favor for the uh, leaving the potassium from the inside the cell to the outside this is play the important role for the development of the resting membrane potential so presence of the protein in the protein produce the asymmetrical distribution of the divisible ion so that is uh, that uh, cell wall is the flexible okay so it is allows the fluid from the one side to the other side so it is easily fragile so that is prevented by the sodium potassium pump the cell wall always having the sodium potassium pump that pump the three sodium outside two potassium inside so it is the cell volume shape always maintained by the sodium potassium pump that is also explained by this gibbstone and equilibrium and another thing is the the transportation of the, the transportation of the ions so from the plasma to the interstitial fluid also explained by the gibbs donan equilibrium in this chart explain the concentration of the sodium potassium chloride and inside the cell and outside the cell and the equilibrium potential the sodium inside the cell is the 115 millimol per liter outside the cell the extracellular fluid is the 150 millimol per liter potassium inside the cell is very high 150 millimol per liter the extracellular fluid 5.5 millimol per liter the chloride is inside is less 9 millimol per liter in the extracellular area it is the 125 millimol per liter so this is to uh, assess the equilibrium potential the sodium equilibrium potential is the plus 60 potassium is minus 90 chloride is minus 70 in nerves in this slide we are discuss about the nance potential otherwise called as the diffusion potential or equilibrium potential so inside the cell sodium is very less potassium is very high chloride also less amount outside the cell sodium is less potassium is high chloride also high so suppose the potassium is inside the cell is very high so when the potassium is move outside due to the concentration gradient the electrical gradient is suppose in the opposite side okay so inside is negative outside is the positive so one time the net no net movement of ions occur that is called as the equilibrium potential so, so the equilibrium potential that uh, electrical force and uh, concentration force concentration gradient and the electric gradient is meet equal at one place that that is called as the equilibrium potential equilibrium potential for the potassium potassium is the minus 90 millivolts equilibrium potential for the sodium is the plus 61 millivolts okay so you have to remember but the neither sodium nor potassium equilibrium potential is not equal to the resting membrane potential but the chloride equilibrium potential is equal to the resting membrane potential of the nerve the chloride equilibrium potential in the nerve is minus 70 millivolts so in the nerve resting membrane potential also minus 70 the chloride resting membrane potential chloride muscle resting membrane potential is minus 90 millivolt the chloride equilibrium potential in the muscle also minus 90 millivolts so this is one of the mcq points the equilibrium potential of chloride is equal to the resting membrane potential the nance potential is calculated by this formula this ek is the equilibrium potential or nance potential calculated by the rt is a tough r r means the gas constant and t is the temperature absolute temperature and z is the ionic valency f is the faraday constant 
so potassium outside and inside okay so it is uh, if you put the rt zf means it is 60 almost 58 millivolt logarithmic gain potassium outside and inside we can calculate the nance potential this is the formula for the nance potential okay so you go to remember this formula rt is at the in potassium outside potassium inside so this is here like that we can calculate for the sodium and chloride so according to the nance potential we can calculate the equilibrium potential potential the chloride equilibrium potential is uh, resembled to the resting membrane potential Goldman Cauchy Katz equation. This is a modified Nance equation. This is the important for measuring the membrane potential. Okay, so we can measure the magnitude of the membrane potential like that. Same like uh, Nance potential. R T F is a F, and we are uh, putting the all the values of the potassium sodium chloride okay so potassium outside sodium outside chloride inside potassium inside sodium inside chloride outside like this we can calculate the goldman cauchy katz equation so according to the goldman cauchy katz equation uh, resting membrane potential or magnitude of membrane potential is mainly depend on the permeability of the so potassium sodium and chloride ion determine the membrane potential and selective permeability of the ions play the important role in the resting membrane potential membrane potential at rest is resting membrane potential resting membrane potential for the nerve is minus 70 muscle is the minus 90 millivolts and the visceral smooth muscle is oscillating minus 50 to minus 60 like that the pacemaker this ac node also oscillating resting membrane potential the resting membrane potential is mainly due to the selective permeability of the cell membrane the potassium is move more than sodium and sodium potassium pump also play the important role so it is always pump the three sodium outside two potassium inside so it did maintain the sodium constant sodium potassium concentration inside the cell is always constant and it is also important for the maintain the cell volume and shape and other factors playing the uh, other factors like uh, donon effect skips donon effect also tell about the importance of the generation of the resting membrane potential and the next equation is uh, give the equilibrium potential about the each ions like potassium potassium around minus 90 millivolts uh, chloride equilibrium potential is the minus 70 millivolt in nerve in the muscle minus 90 millivolt sodium equilibrium potential is the plus 60 millivolts and uh, goldman katz equation is provide the magnitude of the membrane potential that they explain the permeability of the sodium potassium chloride is play the important role in the resting membrane potential thank you for watching this video if you like this video share your friends thank you once again